If you've been struggling to play defense since the patch, here are some of the glitchiest blitzes in the game. These blitzes I'm about to show you are in the Houston Texans defensive playbook. First off, double mug, they tried to patch, they patched a little bit mid blitz. Wanna make sure that your auto flip is on. You're gonna be running all of this against bunch offset. All you wanna do is press triangle then R1 to show blitz. Hover this gap right here. You also can hover right over here or right over here. However you wanna do it, just make sure you got that bar over your head, snap the ball. And as you're gonna see, somebody gonna be running free from one of those sides every single time. If you wanted to do it out of zone coverage, I would just call my nickel three buzz set that joint up you still want to show blitz and you want to blitz those linebackers on the side i'll probably drop him in that boom and he gonna come running free off the edge simple as that next up we finna talk about six one you want to make sure that your auto flip is off base align i like to always put my option defense on conservative no matter what defense i'm in now you can do this out of any formation but we gonna call cover four quarters and what we gonna do is we gonna flip the play so press r2 and what you want to do is you want to show blitz so press triangle then r1 and then you want to press left on the d-pad and you want to shift your d-line to the left and then you want to press left on the d-pad again and you want to slant your d-line to the left you want to blitz that linebacker off the right side as you can see and then you want a qb contain you could adjust this back end coverage to be however you want it. See, you want to try and touch that center. Relax. Boom. You want to try and touch that center. And then you can get that guy to loop around you. Really, granted, you just want to touch the center and back off. But you get that free rusher over there. Really a numbers thing with these blitzes now, bro. You see, boom. Touch him. Peel off. Perfect execution of the blitz right there. You can do that out of a whole lot of formations. All you got to do is just make sure those five people blitzing. You do that. Let's get to the next one. And this next formation we want to talk about is 3-2. There's uh, so many blitzes in 3-2. You want to make sure you base align and your auto flip is off. And then I like my audible setup when I go into 3-2. Cover 6 Willie, DB Fire, and Edge Blitz. Like I said, you want to make sure you are base aligned and auto flip is off. And then you want to always come out in the play. Double safety. Go flip it before you come out. And then press X. So what you want to do is once you come out in that double safety go, you want to press square and then you want to audible to your cover six willy. Take that user, that guy that's in that hook right there, that vert, that three rack hook. You want to go to the outside of that person on the defensive line, as you can see. And what you're going to get is him running, screaming through that A gap. So as you can see, boom, screaming through that A gap. Nice and simple, nice and calm, calm -y. Now you got DB fire. What you want to do is you see both of those corners that's blitzing, pick one to drop in the coverage. So I set up like that with two blitzing corners. What you want to do is one of those corners, you just going to let keep blitzing. The other one, you can drop in the coverage. I'm going to drop him in the coverage right here and then I'm going to hover right here. These next two blitzes I'm about to show you are in the Las Vegas Raiders defensive playbook. All right, so this next blitz I'm finna show you is at a three, four. And what you want to make sure is you have auto flip off and then you would just want to come out and pinch buck zero. So what you want to do is, it's really not much to do. All you want to do is just walk this guy down here. And regardless if they block the running back or not, what you're going to see is that pressure going to come screaming off one of those edge sides. So now we move over to 3-3 three, three odd out of the nickel formation. And we want to make sure that we come out in the cornerback one inside package. So when we motion a guy out, you won't move back in. And they got certain play that's not in the other packages. So... First and foremost, you want to make sure when you go into this, you want to make sure your auto flip is off. Then you want to make sure you are base aligned. I like to put my option defense on conservative as well. And then a the play we're going to come out in is called linebacker cross show two. So we're going to come out in that play. Let me, let's go against a, a typical bunch offset. And the first thing you want to do is press triangle and then R1 so you can show blitz. Now, for the most part, the blitz is set up right there. So after you snap the ball, you want to make sure your user is put into a zone. And then after you snap the ball, as you're going to see, as you watch the A gap, he's going to come screaming through the A gap. That's one way to set this blitz up, like to just show blitz and then it is what it is. But what I like to do is, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not the most, most consistent way to run it, but that is a way that you can run it. But you want to make sure that this guy's like backed off and he doesn't have the blitz indicators over his head. Drop your mans into a zone. This is my basic way of setting up this blitz. And then shade underneath, basically put inside quarters on those two guys, on my two safeties, and then stay down there underneath. And what you're gonna see is that exact same A-gap pressure that he's gonna run through the A-gap directly through it. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a that's another way that you guys can run it. Like I said, that's the most consistent way, but you can just as simple as just do this and then the blitz is set up. But it's just sometimes when he's so close to that line of scrimmage, he gets picked up. But I mean, as you can see, he is looping through that goddamn A. Now let's talk about that. The C gap. You wanna make sure when you go down here, as you see right stick packages, you wanna make sure that you are in the cornerback one inside package. Why? Because we're gonna be able to move a guy without him moving back in his cornerback one pack. What you wanna do is you wanna come out in this hot blitz three formation. No blitz, so that's triangle R1. Pinch your defensive line and then slant that same defensive line inside. So that's down or left on the D-pad, down on the D-pad for pinch. Left on the D-pad, down on the right analog. Then you want to QB contain, slide this guy out over the gap, and watch the magic happen as they both run off those edges. You can set up your coverage on the back end however you want. It's been your boy, Matt Game 63 Let me know what you're running on defense.